So what are the factors that influence the likelihood of an arc flash event? It could be anything from tasks to equipment to the work environment. First, let's look at examples of tasks that might increase the chances of an arc flash event. Electrical testing, equipment maintenance, applying grounds, installation, removal, or racking of equipment, operation of outdoor medium voltage switches, operation of circuit breaker or switch the first time after maintenance, opening and closing panel covers, touching or manipulating insulated cable, interaction with series connected batteries, interacting with or working exposed to control voltages, and other abnormal equipment conditions. Beyond tasks, arc flash hazards could happen because of equipment condition, maintenance, and environmental factors. Planned outages and maintenance should be performed per manufacturer specs. You can also find more information from the NFPA 70B as in Bravo or the International Electrical Testing Association. There are a lot of companies that perform maintenance for industrial equipment. And as the old saying goes, if you don't schedule a planned outage for maintenance, your equipment will create an unplanned outage of its own. If you're smart about planned outages, you can find effective ways to plan for your production needs. If your plant creates a large volume of dust and debris, you might need to increase the interval of equipment cleaning to maintain safety and operation. Now, what's the number one factor that increases the likelihood of an arc flash event? You got it, the presence of power. So always aim to create an electrically safe work condition whenever possible. If you need to work energized, insulated tools are a must. And wearing PPE could be the difference between life and death. EPSCO, electrical power and safety company. Safety, diligence, collaboration.